safety and elaborate biggest esports mannequin challenge. Let's check it out and we'll be back with your second map. one to fall from the NIP side. The fight's gonna join him, but it's down to just for 15 HP inside the connector. NIP have him pinched off. They've got the bomb and they've got a minute to think about this. Look at the get right. He's already got one hand in the air. He's waiting for Coming. it. He wants that celebration. They want the trophy and they've got it. NIP will take down SK on the return of Pip. What a story. Pip's return after a three months absent and they come back once again and win their third at oh, what? We expected to see that AKs in the third, but it's not happening. It's just to be Desert Eagles here. Oh, oh, oh my God. What is that from Cold? Through the smoke fights too, as they almost lined it up perfectly for him. He barely had to move. Now. Oh, what? Eight seconds left and Keo looks to do it all. That's two, gets a third. And now in a 1v1 and Forest, brave as you like, standing out in the opening. Keo wants a bit of it, dancing with danger. He oh, gets what? the job done. Keo goes above and beyond to save phase in this round. And Kerrigan is standing. Did you just get the phase up sign to the crowd? Oh, what? They have no kids, but Forrest in a lovely position. Watch it. Oh, what? Pip's gonna be tested early here, and he stands to the challenge. One quick kill and the nade. All of phase is still oh, Pip, the defense from NIP, there it is. Oh, what? Here we are, semi-final time. You and the rest of the team. Have you got this in the bag? For sure. I mean, they have Kerrigan, and uh, well, I don't know what he's known for, but his former team was known for something to do with the semis, so... Shots fired! Shots fired! I, I don't know what that is. What is that? Richard Lewis knows what. <laughs> so... Is this a 2-0? Oh? Is that what you Oh, what? Right, well, let's let's get this on. So, um... Oh, oh, what? What? Oh! What? What? Oh, yeah! Somebody just got pied in the face. See, I thought I had the plan because I brought him in on it and they just wrecked me. Mate, you've got... Hang on, let me taste it. That looked like a tasty cake. Come here. Just come here one second. Let me try. That is a tasty cake! That is lovely. Let's just see a replay of that. If you... Oh! What? And the Molotov, so it's hard for them to catch him on this corner. You see, just easily falls back and he's delaying a little bit, but I mean, for them to catch him, they would have to basically just throw everyone at him. Yeah, fully commit. Even though Fallen, there's nobody there to support him. What's happening now is FNX is pushing out through a long. He's, he's boxed G2 in on catwalk. Cold Zero is going to be rotating back up as well. He's going to hear the footsteps. FNX is going to be in a prime position to just go rushing in. Scream going to be looking the wrong way here and Fallen drawing attention to himself at Goosey. Bows them down! Quad kill for Fallen. FNX does get the drop on. Oh, what? Indeed, here comes the Prey Peak spot stop plan, but there we go. Can't play it too much. Where is the second player, though? He has no idea. He expects it to be the short position. Going for the tap makes a connection, but not fatal. And it will yeah. be, so he will be the fatality. He feels like he should have had the kill there, but he's still in good spirits. They have a good lead. And it's important to keep the spirits high on the team, especially after the emotional tweets of yesterday. Yeah. Oh. What? Going for their standard three-man take of the long area, and they will leave uh, Mixwell there this time. Will it be another fast flank? Stanislaw, how does he get to this position? Oh, dearie me. He is turning them into jam sandwiches, <laughs> and he loves himself some jam. Four versus two. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. That is just <laughs> grotesque. The flank's coming in as well. How does Stanislaw even get... Oh! Ja przebiegłem koło tego typa. Przebiegłem koło niego. Oh, what? 
there in the half. They seem to struggle against these, these eco rounds. Last time this happened, it was cut way too close. Oh, what? Cold Syrah dropping shot without him even touching the ground. That is insane, but I'm not sure it's enough. I mean, that puts a smile on your face, but SK need wood. Oh, what? For Envious, they could never quite get it happening, but Optic could, and they move forwards against Fnatic, but that's, that's a lot of Envious here in Season 2 of E-League, unfortunately for them. Yeah, really good performance from Optic, and it was... Oh, what? ...towards the B bomb site. Optic looking to go into the drop, perhaps. NBK's waiting around the corner. What will he be able to do? Counter flash comes in, but there's no push. Envy don't want to uh, risk losing a player early. NBK just waiting now. So far, so good. Got support for his teammate as well. Two kills for him. Six to go down in the meantime, and there's a trade for the tease. Nice flick from Kenny S. Yes. Second one comes in, doesn't land. Has to hit this next one. There it is. Third player, last player. Kenny S's yes player. Nice stuff there with the AWP. Towards the long area, Happy starting to push now. Enough right, ready for it. Oh, very awkward for Happy. Can he escape? He can't. So there are options for Optic, but the bomb is on the floor. Tarek having to use the smoke to try and get it. And Kenny going for the pot shot's going to miss, however. And now we've got three CTs all spread out across the map, which gives a small advantage to Optic in the sense that there's a reasonable chance for a two versus one. Apex though, here's the sound cues, goes for the worst angle possible. Nafly, how did he find that kill? No trade. Six is there, almost, but there's no trade. Unbelievable snap coming oh. in. And he has forced to a fast shot, misses the no scope. Oh my goodness. You can see the disappointment there for Kenny S. Yes. Stanislaw has just enough time to get the defuse in. Optic win a very, very needed round. That mm. That's that's it. Uh... Du vet hur man gör. Så ja. Ja, oh, vad bra. Två. Uh... Ja, det har, varit, det har varit på små marginaler ja. väldigt ofta. Det var en runda där jag såg med lite fler spelare på de här senaste fem. Uh... Ja, du ser. Det, ja. det är liksom... Så det, det visar verkligen vart skåpet står för den här matchen i alla fall när det kommer till hur tajta rundorna är Höglund. På Emilio där, bra reply på andra sidan kartan och eh, gäller väl att... Oj, 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 oj! Nej, men det där får inte hända. Oh, what? <laughs> A very difficult half for them, but 16 to 12, they take it over the line. The oh, what? Castro's a great owner, he takes great care of them, but once you, you have those externals taken away from you, like... You all have to find what then drives you. You've already won a major. You're getting paid really well. You've got a great ownership behind you. What motivates you as a player to keep... Oh, what? Because 10 seconds he needs to defuse for. Mixwell, surely he's going to peak. Surely you're going to peak Mixwell. Oh, my oh. God! He used that... Oh, that was so close! Oh, my God. He must have been sweating bullets. It's like he was going for a Zorro, that. Oh, my God. That... Oh. What? Of the vent room of, of checkers, they've got a man in vents as well as somebody, as well as somebody on the side. So you can see that Optic have a very good setup in mind for dealing with B rushes. And look at that, beautiful from Naf. Lovely little transfer there to finish off all the ecoing players of Fnatic in stock. Oh, what? Uh, for, uh, gang, also? Oh, 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 o